Come with the YouTube fam. So if you guys are first time watching this video, my name is Justin. My name is Alina. And we have been traveling the Philippines and making vlogs here for over three months now. So in this episode, we're going to talk about our thoughts about the Philippines in the last three months. So we've actually prepared the whole notes for today and we're going to talk about it one by one from transportation to like languages to food to accommodation to price everything we're going to talk about today yeah let's start all right so first of all let's talk about transportation here in the philippines so i start first okay okay i start first sounds good <laughs> so in the philippines we so firstly i think in the philippines there are a huge variety of options when it comes to transportation so let's start with maybe jeepney so personally Jeepney is something that's very new to us coming from a different country yeah, right. so from all my years of travel I've never seen something like Jeepney which is essentially from what I heard from our Filipino subscribers is that it's essentially <laughs> well, what happened? So many flies here It's okay, so this whole episode we'll see us like this. do this <laughs> Anyway, yeah, back Jeepney. to Jeepney Yes, Jeepney. Jeepney, I forgot Jeepney so Jimny. Justin's so easy distracted. <laughs> yeah, so cannot be distracted. Anyway, Jim, uh, Jimny. So Jimny here in the Philippines for us it's uh very different because apparently some of our Filipino subscribers told us that Jimnys are actually like vehicles that are used back in World War Two, mm -hmm. um, and we've seen Jimnys in Manila and Cebu. So apparently, first thing that I need to mention about Jimny it's, it's the always in a big city. Yeah, always in big city. Yeah, in islands, I didn't see jeepney. I think, yeah, in islands, mostly tricycles and other tra transportations, which we will talk about later. But uh, uh, jeepneys, I think in Cebu, they're modernizing it now. So Cebu has a new type of jeepney compared mm. to uh, in Manila, which is still using the old type of jeepney. But anyway, jeepney, first impression, it's very affordable price. <laughs> it's how much is it again? Uh, it's around 12, 12, 12 peso. Minimum fee, I think 12 pesos yeah, is minimum. It's crazy price, it's so cheap. Yeah, we so <laughs> yeah, we were 12 pesos. But, yeah, but sometimes it's so chaotic. Mm. I remember when we tried to go to Mall of Asia mm. and we tried to take jeepney, so we don't know what kind of jeepney we need and we don't know like where we need to read because it's only like Filipino language. Yeah. So we try to ask a driver, but they're so fast. Every people like uh, jeepney jeepney drive yeah. and people just jump to jeepney I know <laughs> jump inside you haven't even sit down the jeepney's already going it's always so chaotic and some people are standing in the back just yeah, stand there yeah. holding on to the handle <laughs> hanging for dear life it's crazy um, yeah for me it's same so chaotic I remember the first time when I sit on jeepney it was okay no one no one was there but the second time when I sit on jeepney I think it was really crowded chaotic <laughs> so many flies I can't <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we'll just keep moving the whole episode. But uh, second time when I was on Jeepney, I think someone was sitting on my lap. Like someone mm. was sitting on here because it's just so crowded. Yeah, uh, or you're close to each other and like you're like squeezed. sweaty. <laughs> exactly, especially in like, you know, but Philippines it's, so it's hot and humid. It's a experience anyway. Yeah, it's quite an interesting experience. Um, okay, yeah. next. Next. Jeepney and... Tricycle. Tricycle, oh yeah. So love, love tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so tricycle, I think mostly our first tricycle experience was in Cebu. Mm -hmm. When we go to uh, like the south of Cebu, it's more like local areas or like islands. Then we It's like a scooter plus something. Like a passenger seat. Yeah. Yeah, next to it. <laughs> and sometimes it's for two to three people maybe. Even, even more, more even I think, more. even more. Depends yeah. how much you can squeeze All into the tricycle. All can go to and sit inside tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> or even motorbike in general. People see, I see four people sitting on the same motorbike before. It's crazy. Yeah. But tricycles, um, what do you think? I think, me first? Okay. Uh, first time in Cebu. Um, and I think we paid 300 pesos one way from the pier to our resort in Cebu. Um, I think personally as a tourist, um, the thing about tricycle, it's obviously it's quite interesting. I've never seen anything like this in my whole life as well. Three wheels. Uh, yeah, me too. Yeah. I just remember from my mother told me like when she was young, she, my father have like this tricycle in Russia and uh, she bring my mother to like a village to from far away from city. Oh, ah, really? Yeah, like yeah. this? Why? Yeah, before, before like it's around 30 years ago. Why she doesn't sit at the back? No, she sit in the small like this this one like a 
Oh, small like a seat like a passenger in the, in the seat. seat. Yeah, my my father is like a driving bike. So, cool, <laughs> cool so you have something like this in Russia too. Yeah, but I never see it because it's like when when my brother was young, uh, so it's before before me, like. Right. <laughs> yeah, he took your seat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next, motorbikes. So I think here in the Philippines, um, the good thing about Phil- Philippines is that same as other Southeast Asian countries, there are lots of like ride sharing apps. For example, there is Grab, there is Joyride, Joyride. there is uh, Anchors. Anchors. Which Anchors is only available in Philippines App Store. Yeah. So for foreigners who come here, when our subscribers keep saying, oh, you should get Anchors, it took us a while to figure out it's only available in the Philippines. So we had to change the App Store and everything to get the app, which was a huge complication. Yeah. But sometimes, I don't know why, we cannot get any driver if it's like a local area. Mm-hmm. We always can get driver like a Joride or Ankos only if it's like big, big, big area like mm-hmm. a, a Ortigas, Makati or PGC. Yeah. But if it's so local area, I don't know why they go- cannot go to there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think in local areas, not a lot of, maybe less people take um, like motorbikes. I think just my guess because that's just our experience when we're in local areas. Like, um, yeah, but when we're in BGC, we're always able to find one, I think. I think there are more and more flies getting around <laughs> us. Are we smelly? <laughs> we're so smelly, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we just showered not long ago. Anyway, I think that's a motorbike and then taxi. Um, yeah, taxi here is pretty cool. Yep. Uh, like a Grab, it's always so fast. Oh, I think taxi, there are two types. So one is like ride sharing. Uh, j- just And just normal taxi, right? Yeah, and just you normal can, taxi. Like, just stop like this. Exactly. Yeah, just normal normal taxi sometimes. I don't understand too because we try to get, but they say like, oh, we cannot go to this, <laughs> <laughs> cannot yeah, go to this place. Yeah. And I'm like, why? <laughs> yeah, true. I think uh, when we were in Cebu, uh, most of the time it was according to meters. So it was like quite standard price. No, there, there's not really a lot of ways they can scam you apart from like, um, I don't know, like, fix the meter differently but anyway but here in manila many of the drivers that we notice they they don't like meters they don't mm. take meters they just say like oh 500 like 1000 or <laughs> I don't know, just a huge price and we say can we use meter and they say no and but i remember one time in Cebu when even we use meter even we see price this mm. is driver ask us like oh you need to pay like for 100 more and we're like but we see price and he's and like, like oh okay okay yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know. Maybe we are like terrorists or like foreigners. That's why sometimes some drivers do try to take advantage of us. Yeah. Which, uh, but not all drivers. Some, I would say. Um, okay, what's next? Uh, okay, Grab. We talk about Grab. Ride sharing. Yeah, Grab. I, I, I like Grab. It's pretty cool. It's mm. like so cool car. It's all like in good condition inside. Yeah. So fast coming. Exactly. I think Grab, it's probably one of the easiest way. Usually when we cannot find motorbike, we just call a Grab. Even though it's like more uh, expensive yeah, compared to Grab. other means of transportation. Like even compared to Jeepney, 12 pesos cannot beat it, right? But mm. um, yeah, very fast, uh, good service. And also... <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> okay, grab. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, I think just everything is managed on the app, so you don't need to pay in cash. I think you can pay cash as well, but everything's managed, so it's very easy. Um, and sometimes, if you, even in Manila, sometimes we try to call grab though, but we cannot get one. So sometimes we need to switch to a six seater instead of a four seater, you know, yeah. to get a uh, car, which Maybe is even more. traffic or like not a lot of car in this place. So. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, another thing is traffic in the Philippines, like Manila and Cebu, it's crazy yeah. always. <laughs> uh, it's really good to have a motorbike, I would say. Um, but it's so dangerous also because before I driving in Indonesia and I feel more safety than the here I don't know how can I drive <laughs> <laughs> we did notice uh, I think some of, some of our subscribers actually asked us to get a motorbike so that we can travel around I really want I really want yeah but it's just that we don't yeah we don't we don't know especially because from where we come from I guess like from Indone- in Indonesia you drive on the left side drive on the left side yeah left side but here you need to drive on the right side Wait, drivers in the car on the left side? Yeah. Car on the left side. Here, car is on Here, the left side. Here, right side. Oh, right side, yeah, car on the left side. Yeah, exactly. Same for Australia. It's very similar. So I don't really necessarily know about the... Um, right side. Right side or left side. Mm. Yeah. So that's the one challenge for us. Um, yeah, even when we cross the road here, sometimes we look the wrong way as well. So anyway, next. Next. And next is subway and trains. 
subway, subway. and train. Subway. I think we personally don't have a lot of experience with subways and trains in general, but we did take it once or twice. Yeah. Um, I think it was quite fast. I remember, like other countries, really, it's usually quite crowded. Um, but yeah, if you in Hong Kong MTR, it's a lot worse than this. So like a lot of people just. Yeah, and it's also like again, it's so cheap. It's around twenty four peso. Yeah, I remember like it was quite affordable. Peso. Yeah, but um, I think you were talking about like in Russia, the train lines is like. Yeah. Like, in Russia, if you sit on a um, subway, you can go to any places and any stations. Here, I guess, if you go to subway, you need change. Why well, you come to me so close? <laughs> Flies. <laughs> uh, here, if you sit on a subway, you need change lo- your location. You need change your station and take another subway with you if you want to go to so far away. Mm, yeah. So, oh. Anyway, we still not so understand this. Yeah, we don't really understand the system, but... Guys, just one, one question. If you're <laughs> Filipino and you're living in the Philippines, our Filipino subscribers, if you could let us know about like what kind of app is best for like, you know, going to your places, showing you the routes and like transportation, navigation, yeah. everything, that would be nice because sometimes when we look at a map, Google map, maybe it's outdated, maybe it's updated, we don't know. So we know one app, it's ca- it's called uh, Sky Sky. Okay, here. <laughs> and and this is up sometimes uh, sometimes it's right sometimes it's no right sometimes we come to station and bus no come mm. so we really don't know it's it's useful or not yeah so if you could let us know that would be awesome all right next uh let's talk about ferry which is something that we're very new we have personally haven't yeah. taken that before but when we were going to go to chinatown one time we took the train and we're going to take the ferry but apparently it's free yeah it's free it's so interesting but yeah. You need sit and wait around two hours because so many people want to use ferry also. And also, I think it depends. It's like if it's full, they need to wait for another yeah. two hours. So like there are certain times that you can only take the ferry. So not always. Yeah, and it's like ferry not in the ocean. It's like in middle uh, river. Yeah, in the middle in the river. city of river. <laughs> I think our friends told us uh, when we was uh, taking the ferry, they say you need to bring masks. It was like why? And it's like <laughs> because they say the the river it's relatively uh, not as clean. Mm. So I don't know. We haven't seen the seen the ferries yet. So looking forward to the experience, and maybe we'll make a vlog about it too. Soon, soon, try. Yeah, soon. <laughs> okay, next. Um, it's uh, obviously as another thing we talk about. We want to ride motorbikes here in the Philippines, and very often one thing we notice in the Philippines is that motorbikes here sometimes I don't know maybe the motorbike it's modified, so that's why it's uh, a bit louder than yeah, usual. Yeah, so louder, uh, especially when we sleep at home. Mm. So if we open window, we cannot sleep because so loud. Yeah. Because our floor is so high. Exactly. That's actually one thing we looked at before we looked for apartments. Is that we want to find like a quiet place, but still, when we close the window, we can still hear the noise. Luckily, this episode is actually sponsored by one of the companies called Mantis Sleep, and they sent us some mask. So Mantis Sleep mask is actually very nice, and sent us this uh, product here. So this one right here is a sound mask, and it comes with. Bluetooth headphones inbuilt inside this mask. It's so thin that you can't even see. And you can see this uh, eye mask. This sub- I can open my eye when I sleep. Exactly. Uh, I mean, <laughs> when <laughs> I wake up. Sleep, yeah. But it's completely blacked out, which is like what we like. Yeah, and it's so good. Uh, if you want to sleep in daytime or if like at night your cotton is not so, da- so dark, so mm. you can use it and it's really like, it's help- helpful. Exactly. And the material is very breathable as well, so it doesn't get very hot. And apart from this, we also have another mask. Let's talk about this one. So this is a more budget version compared to the sound mask. So this one doesn't have an inbuilt headphone. But at the same time, if you want the budget version of like a just sleeping mask that completely blocks out the light, then this is perfect for you. So if you're still watching this video, I want to give a big thank you to the, for the continued support to our YouTube channel. So our YouTube channel is almost 10,000 subscribers now. So super exciting achievement. That's why we want to give away one of these incredible sound masks from Manta Sleep. And as you can see, it's completely sealed. And it's so, exactly the same like this one. Exactly. So we want to give up to one of our audience because we really think this sound mask personally has benefited us a lot from like sleeping yeah. um, close to the road because it really filters out a lot of the sound uh, noises from the streets. Mm-hmm. So for you to enter in this particular giveaway, you need to do two things. So number one, subscribe make sure to our channel. subscribe. So this important. is more important. Mm-hmm. Also like this video and make a comment. So which brings us to the second rule, which is you need to comment something really interesting. Yeah. So how we pick the winner is we're gonna pick the most interesting comment out of all the comments, and the winner gets to keep one of these bad boy sound mask. Yeah, and if winner now in Manila live in Manila, then we personally meet this person and give this. Yes. 
if you live in another city then we just send to like by post exactly so anyway i think this sound mask will be super beneficial for you guys as well so make sure to do everything that we asked just then and uh, alina need to go back to sleep now so uh, good night Bye. all right so i hope you find this mask useful and make sure don't forget to read the draw uh conditions so that you don't miss out on this opportunity to get one of these masks as well so continue on our topic okay. what's next 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 is language yes so about language the good thing that we really like here as foreigners is that in the philippines everyone speaks english yeah this is so perfect and it's a good opportunity for alina to learn english <laughs> as well i think yeah because i think people here in the philippines they speak really good english sometimes i find myself i can't even like understand what they're saying sometimes even as a uh, native speaker. Mm, yeah, because English here is like national national language. One of them, I yeah. think, yeah, one of them. I think everyone learns English when they grow That's up. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really good. And sometimes when I speak to people here, they speak English, and I think the vocabularies that they use is quite like deep as well. So, yeah, it makes me feel like I don't know, just so nice. It's like <laughs> me back in Australia speaking English. So it's so kind of nice and. For you, new opportunity to learn new words. Yeah, and it's good. It's more easy. Like if you go to can go to market and start to talk English, everyone understand you. If you have problem in the middle city, everyone mm. help you, and everyone can like speak English. Ah, yeah. I love it. I love it's, it. Yeah, it's really good because in my I think years of travel, when I go to a new country, very often I don't speak the language. For example, one thing I struggled the most when I was in Southeast Asia, whether it's uh, in Thailand or Indonesia and other countries, or even Korea, I struggled a lot when it comes to communicating with the locals, and which sometimes I got to take advantage of because I don't speak the language. Mm. Whoa. Oh, oh, there's a cat. Please. Okay, anyway, got distracted again. And one thing, another thing that's really crazy about like the Philippines language is that, did you know that there are 120, more than 120 Filipino language? Wow, 120? More than 120. Crazy. It's crazy, yeah. yeah, and it's more than so there could be like 180 if I saw on the internet correctly. Yeah. So. And I think we are soon gonna learn Tagalog. Yes. So that's. Tagalog <laughs> is uh, the like a language in, in like. Uh, it's like uh, Manila. I, most spoken language mm. in the Philippines, I believe. So most people would know, but I think if you go to some provinces, they might not know because they speak another language. So cool. We need to find a teacher. <laughs> yeah. So that's was something we plan to do here in the Philippines when we're staying in Manila because we're staying here for one year. So we do plan on uh, getting like a teacher to teach us Tagalog so that it will be more easier for us to communicate in our daily lives as well. Yeah. Okay. Next. Food. Who doesn't love food? Everyone loves food. Justin so loves food. I can eat two bowls of rice every day. <laughs> I'm a rice cooker practically. Justin, Magina so fun. <laughs> yeah. I still haven't been able to eat two bowls of rice there though, so still a challenge for me. But let's talk about Filipino food first. Okay, um, I'm start. Filipino food, uh, it's uh, so close to my home style food, Russian mm. style food. So that's why I love it. Um, I love when I come to Philippines, I first time try Filipino food mm. and I feel in love with Sinigang. You know, guys, <laughs> if, we, if you guys keep watching this video in our channel, you know, guys, I love Sinigang. I really, I want to try every Sinigang in this, in this country. <laughs> in this world, in this in world. In this world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. I think uh, the first impression of Sinigang really gave us like a really good impression of Filipino food. We had, went to Manam for the first time, we had the Sinigang. It's a bit of a different Sinigang because this one has watermelon, which normally I know you guys don't use like many Filipino people they don't use uh, watermelon in the Sini Gang usually it's pork Sini Gang yeah but taste is amazing amazing <laughs> and since then we just couldn't stop ordering Sini Gang everywhere we go we would say Sini Gang <laughs> I think we have a Sini Gang Cebu Sini Gang in Boho Sini Gang everywhere we go oh and also I love Pochero oh but here's a tricky thing guys um, we were told that Pochero in Cebu is different to Pochero in Manila Oh. Pochero in Cebu, it's uh, like bolalo, which is like a like a soup with um, beef bones inside, which mm. is what we know as pochero in Cebu. So I think uh, in pochero in Manila, it's like a tomato based kind of soup. Oh, really? Yeah, so, so it's we very didn't different. Try. We still didn't try. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Soon. So we. <laughs> yeah. Soon. Soon. <laughs> and yeah, Filipino food. Um, yeah, it reminds me of my home food as well because Hong Kong, lots of like comfort food cooking. Reminds me of my mom's cooking actually. So mm, me too, me too. Yeah, it's like home so style. Good. Very, I don't know, just very feels like home. I don't know how to explain it. That feeling. What happened? This is 
Are you so painful? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll be quick. Okay, better. My bear helped. Yep, your bear helped you. <laughs> okay, um, and then after Filipino food, let's talk about also Filipino food but local oh, that's food. All, that's all about Filipino food. You don't want to talk about manginaso. We'll go. We'll go to that later. We'll but go to that later. Filipino food. Yes, yes, yes. We'll talk about that when we talk about fast food. Okay. Okay. So local <coughs> food delicacies, for example, like balut. Balut. Oh, crazy. Ten thousand subscribers. Alina's gonna. No. <laughs> Twenty. Ten thousand subscribers. Twenty. Justin dancing in the middle of PGC. <laughs> Me again. Ten thousand. I'm gonna eat balut. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you guys hear that? If uh, you don't subscribe now, you never see Alina dance. <laughs> Wait, eat balut. I mean, <laughs> and see me dance too. <laughs> Dancing in the middle of BGC is quite takes a lot of courage, you know. But delicacies, balut. So balut, like many foreigners, when they hear the word balut, they would immediately think of like, oh, live, a live chicken, a live or duck, you know. But I tried it. Personally, for me, it, it wasn't that bad to be honest. It was like a normal boiled egg to me. Even if I tried a chicken. Thing? Feet. Chicken feet. This feet. Yeah. Chicken feet. I even if I try chicken feet, I feel like chicken feet is like moving in my mouth. So <laughs> I'm so worried and scared to try balut. You, you just gotta stop picturing it in your mind, and then you will feel like, oh, it's actually not so bad. Maybe it even tastes good. I don't know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, delicacies and street food. We I think we also tried the. Huh. I forgot what that one is called, but it's like a. When we're in Divisoria, I ate something like a oh fried egg kind of thing, like a fried egg, fried boiled egg. You know, just now I realized when we was in Chinatown, we buy some like a uh, snacks, and I still remember it. It's in my bag. I forget to take out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, your bag or my bag? I think it's my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's your bag. Ayo. Oh no. Yeah, we buy we the buy white one, powder we one. Wanna give, yeah, we want to give our friends to try, but we forget and it's still there. Oh my god! <laughs> Lol. Well, well, it was two weeks ago. <laughs> it's gonna yeah preserve well in my bag, I think. But uh, yeah. So street food. <coughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna say something? Um, next street food. <laughs> yes, yeah, street food. <laughs> uh, we also need to try a few other street food, like the fried banana turon. I think it's called. Mm. Um, I remember what we try. We try um, it's Christmas, Christmas things. Oh, near, nearby. Bibinka, I think it's called. Bibinka. 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 Uh, something like that. Uh, it's like a Christmas dish that you snacks maybe local snacks that sells usually they say it's sell, sold outside of the church uh, during Christmas but we found one at our SNR local SNR so we tried it it was quite good yeah um, we don't really have a big like impression of it but I think it tastes okay for me personally but maybe some people like it but uh, you remember? Uh, I think it's okay yeah it's okay yeah it's okay yeah it's okay. Um, something new yeah something new to us because I think for us we don't really have a Christmas dish that we eat uh, Alina has for uh, New Year's, not Christmas. Olivia. Yeah, uh, Olivia salad and uh, lots of pickles and uh, yeah, just lots of more pickles <laughs> and more pickles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and our Happy New Year video is so fun. If you didn't guys see it, just we put the link in a. Yes, and go watch it after this video. After, okay. After. So <laughs> next, we're gonna so Filipino food. We've tried many at um like sort of like medium or high end restaurants, like well prepared, um like very high or medium. You would say high class, medium class restaurant like Manam. I think it's like. I think for me it's like uh, so like so good restaurant. Yeah, it's a good restaurant. Loka really, really good. Bo, Manam, mm. yeah, exactly like Filipino food, and also we try. Where did we try first time Pochero? What's the name? Uh, uh, I forgot. In Cebu, <laughs> a restaurant, a local restaurant. But uh, we'll put the name here. But yeah, I think we sort of eat at a relatively like high end kind of restaurant, but we haven't tried the m more like cheaper option of Filipino food, which is recommended by some of the subscribers uh, to this place called Karinderia, Karinderia, which uh, I'm actually going to meet up with my first Filipino friend today. So I'm very excited. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we're going to go to a Karinderia, one of Mark Wien's uh, like recommended restaurants that he went before. So yeah, can't wait to show you in the next episode. We're gonna go to Karinderia and try the local food, which is essentially Karinderia means they pre-cook the meals, put it on the trays. It's kind of like a 
buffet kind of thing, but you choose the like food that you want, mm. and they put it onto a plate. So I think it'll be Sounds quite good. interesting. Yeah, just trying some local dishes. I don't know what I'm gonna get today, but we'll see in the next episode. So stay tuned for that one. And international food. What do you think? Uh, here have so many international food, international cuisine, like different style, like um, Italian, Spanish, like everything what you want you can find in Manila, but no Russian. <laughs> yeah, anything but Russian food here. <laughs> no, of course you can find Russian, like in Philippines, the many mm. Russian, but in Manila, I didn't see. I know some local Russian can cook, but mm, like a small <laughs> Instagram shop. Sometimes I miss. Yeah, that's but why we try to cook it at home, but still doesn't beat like restaurant, <laughs> like you know cooking i guess but alina makes really good russian food yeah but uh we try to search a russian restaurant on google maps we can't find any so if you guys know any let us know as well because we would love to visit and i love russian food so international food my turn okay <laughs> uh i think here in the philippines when i first came in the philippines i noticed there are so many restaurants like so many different types from japanese like really high end or like budget ramen or like korean, korean restaurants oh. many korean restaurants here um, like yes, Alina said, Italian and Alina got to try paella for the first time at a Spanish restaurant yeah, here in the Philippines. Amazing. So yeah, and yeah, just any type of cuisines you can pretty much find it here in the Philippines. A lot of Hong Kong food as well, which I love because where I come from. A lot of Asian food. Uh, yep. Not every country have Asian. For example, if you go to Indonesia, like Bali, mm. uh, they have Western. Like not, yeah, Western food more yep. than Asian. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, I agree. Even Bali. I would try to find Asian food I couldn't find um, unless it's local food um, but yeah that's about it for international food and I think um, next will be groceries groceries yeah groceries we always buy our groceries is SNR in yes. the central of PGC yeah so because it's near our apartment so we usually we bought a subscription for 700 Membership. yep 700, 700 pesos mm. I think for one year and we got to uh buy things there and I think most of the things that like groceries are imports yeah so and they have like a big uh, big boxes mm. for like long long terms yeah so you usually buy in bulk so like not just one you usually buy in like many for example buy canned food you buy like six maybe not mm. one so um, relatively we would say like you can buy a lot of things for cheaper but it's still not the cheapest because some of them are imports and also you don't have the flexibility to just take one item out. You need to take the whole, everything. Yeah. But good is KitKat. <laughs> How much? 200, 250. 250 for 10 pieces of KitKat. Packs, 10 packs. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah so. Sometimes it's so good. But sometimes if we want to find something like just one piece, mm. we go to Market Market. Mm. And yeah, we buy in SM. SM Market? Yeah, SM Market or SM Market Market, market um, which is Metro. Yeah. So I think here, there you have more flexibility to buy anything you want. And actually more options, I think. More options there. Um, but yeah, we're still trying to find... What do you think about the price uh, the food in market? So compared to Australia? Oh, coming to Australia, you cannot compare. Australia is definitely <laughs> more expensive. <laughs> Australia, everything is so expensive. I remember they say how much something like a fruit was like ten dollars one time i forgot it was crazy because at the time everything in australia was expensive but that was almost a year ago because i haven't gone back home that much this year so i don't really know about the price what about russia um i know here onion onion it's uh, around 450 for one kg so for me it's crazy because in russia we have onion for 50 peso one kg so i'm always so confused when i come to market yeah and some some products like a uh, carrot like uh i don't know maybe in philippines don't have and they mm. like get import so that's why I like this price but mm. another things for example veggie it's uh like a lettuce lettuce, lettuce yeah it's cabbage. more it's more cheaper yeah mm. and price is so good i think yeah you can live pretty pretty good here yeah i think so you can um definitely i guess save a lot of money from eating uh like home cooking food yeah. as well potato your favorite yeah oh potato again so <laughs> expensive here i don't know why <laughs> yeah do you think it's because of like imports or like local or that no difference i think no idea even in metro i think it's a lot quite a bit yeah yeah I think uh, in Russia potato it's around 30 peso for 1 kg yeah here okay sorry we got cut off there potato uh, here is potato around 
300 for one kg or 250 200, yeah. yeah 250 is, mm. qu- is quite a bit price mm. for me it's crazy but anyway i love potato anyway i buy <laughs> yeah when you compare <laughs> like <week. laughs> 30 pesos in russia for one kg is crazy i don't yeah. think you can get it anywhere really. in may i'm um, go to russia and i wanna when i go to back to philippines i wanna bring <laughs> with me potato <laughs> It's like Santa Claus wearing a, <laughs> putting our bag but inside yeah. potato. Uh, ten, 10 kg with me, like a luggage, you know, 20 kg you can put in plane. Um, the border police take, take open your luggage. <laughs> What's inside? And it's like, potato. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, groceries. So next we're on to our favorite topic, which is fast food. So we're going to yeah. talk about a few favorite fast food restaurants here okay. in the Philippines. So first of all, let's start with Manginaso, my personal favorite. So Manginaso really reminds me of my childhood memories when I first came to the Philippines for the first time in Cebu, actually. I remember at the time, Cebu was not that, like, modernized. Mm-hmm. And we could buy, like, roast chicken on the street. And it was my favorite memory of the Philippines, just the chicken. That's all I could remember. <laughs> so coming to the Philippines, I have one go to eat the chicken again. And <laughs> Manginaso, it's a bit different. Um, it's not... So the chicken that I like was lechon manuk. It's got lechon manuk. It's not really lechon, but it's, like, roast chicken. It's got lechon manuk. Mm-hmm. And I realized Manginaso, it's like a grilled chicken. Grilled? Yeah. Grilled chicken? Yeah. Yeah. So grilled chicken and still, it tastes amazing. I think in Philippines here, it's like specializes in chicken. Yeah, and they have unlimited rice. Unlimited rice as well, but and I could never get past one actually. In Manginaso, first time, I tried... Um, empanada. Uh, empanada, yeah, yeah. And it so reminds me to Uzbekistan cuisine, like a cheburek. Yeah. Chipurik. Yeah, and it's it tastes so good. Similar, very similar. Very similar, but mm. empanada is more sweet. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Chipurik is more salty. Ah, right. Yeah, I think I love love empanadas. I want to try uh, chipurik as well. Hopefully, <laughs> when I go to Russia. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think mangna. So it's it's just amazing. Everything's amazing about mangna. So you can even see how they cook inside the kitchen as well. First week when Justin just tried mangna. after this, he cannot stop go there. He <laughs> yeah. always go mangna. So mangna. So every time wake up, go to mangna. So exactly. To and hey, like yo. super addicted. If you haven't seen that mangna video yet, we'll drop the link below and make sure you check it out after this video because that's. I think so far it's our best performing video yeah, actually. Right. <laughs> I think it just shows how much I love that place. And uh, yeah, I actually will have this crazy idea that I want to do in the future. I don't know if it's possible, but I actually want to work in my Naso for a day. <laughs> and I don't just work there. I think it would be quite fun and interesting sounds, to do. Sounds good. I want to cook the good. chicken, like, I don't know. It's so interesting. And I want to be the cashier. I'd be like, what do you want? Hello, hello? And then, like, I don't know. Like, something <laughs> and like I this. come to you and I order from you something. Yeah, I think that would be so interesting, no? Uh, if you guys know any, like, managers of my Naso, let me know. Hit me up. <laughs> I really want to collaborate with my Naso. So. Okay, on to our second um, fast food restaurant, which is Chow King. Something that we had one time only, I think. And they have Chinese Chinese dumplings, dumplings and yeah. xiao mai, xiao mai. Yeah. For me, if like Chow King, Jollibee, and what is else? Mai Naso? No. Chow King, Jollibee, and something McDonald's. else. McDonald's. Oh? Like Filipino? Yeah. Mm. No? KFC? Nah. McDonald's? I don't know. Okay, anyway. if 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 like Chow King on Jollibee, then I choose Jollibee. Yeah, right. Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. Chow King for me, it's something so it's even not fast food. It's like a dumplings. Mm. So. Do you count it as fast food? Do you think? I don't know. For me, like uh, I like I, I like Jollibee. Mm. I like Jollibee hot dog. Yep. It's so cool and. Hot dog. Hot dog. Yeah. I oh, always I dog. always buy a hot dog. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. I got <laughs> <laughs> yeah right and for me I think uh, Chow King for me maybe because I grew up eating Chinese food and I yum cha every Sunday when I was in Hong Kong so I'm very familiar with the flavors and compared to like authentic like Chinese food obviously I cannot compare because one's fast food one is yum cha high end restaurant um, personally I find Chow King okay for me because just yeah for me it's just okay I know we haven't tried the fried chicken there because we were surprised that fried chicken is a famous dish there actually mm. at Chow King but we didn't try that so maybe we should try that next time but we were told Halo Halo at Chow King is one of the best compared to Mang Naso but many have said Mang Naso is best better but some have said Chow King is better as well Halo no, Halo Mang Naso Halo Halo Wait, where do we try Mang Naso yeah Mang Naso I secretly tried Chow King <gasps> Halo Halo when I think one time when I was so hungry, I got on the street and I just uh, ate halo halo chow king. Me? Ah, 
<laughs> okay, I drink one. okay. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about is Jollibee. So Jollibee, one of Filipinos' favorite and probably the most popular, well-known Filipino fast food chain. So Jollibee, the first time we had it, my impression was I ordered the set, so I've got everything. I've got the burger with mushroom sauce with mm. rice, and that was cool. That was really delicious for me. I love mushroom sauce in general, and I ordered the Jollibee spaghetti, the signature dish. Uh, I think it was cool. One thing I noticed there, it's I think we learned that Filipino tomato sauce is tend to be sweet. That's our first impression of Jolly Bee. And now we have at home Jolly Bee tomato sauce. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> because I think the Tagig government, like in BGC, give us gave us Christmas present. Yeah, because we uh, start to live in condo in BGC, so they give us uh, like. And before one day we buy already big pocket of rice, <laughs> 10 kg, and they give us uh, again 10. 10 kg rice enough so. for one year enough for one year <laughs> <laughs> but yeah Jollibee um, I think I had the had multiple times Jollibee I actually quite like Jollibee personally yeah. um, I think it was like, you get a huge variety when you order sets not just rice not just like spaghetti you get everything you need yeah. and yeah I think that's about it for Jollibee I personally like it and you like it too so next topic um, oh that's done with food Let's move on to weather. So, weather here in the Philippines. What do you think? My now, hair now. Now it's so windy. Yeah, exactly. It's so, so windy. So windy. And right. I like today. It's like not super hot. Mm. Not yeah. super hot sun. Yeah. Maybe it's still early in the morning. That's why. It's 9 o'clock now in the morning. So, So weather now in January is so cool. I love this weather. Because it's, it's like, sort of like winter kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, it's kind of winter. It's not so hot and you feel so like comfy. Yeah, but some people they told us like in March and May <laughs> it will be so hot, so I cannot wait. Yeah, <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> you mean can wait? Can wait. <laughs> can wait. Can't yeah. wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because now it, apparently it's the coldest the, season already. And because we don't use aircon at home. Yeah, now we don't use aircon. Try to save electricity. Electricity. Um. So yeah, looking forward. To, look, don't looking forward to uh, summer. I mean, <laughs> but uh, I think here in the Philippines weather it's quite humid i would say like wet and hot a bit similar to hong kong in some ways winter is more or less the same um it's not very cold in winter mm. but it, obviously for you it's very different winter here it's very different to russia winter of course yeah for me it's all year summer <laughs> yeah all year summer exactly here yeah i think living in australia <laughs> the same uh, australia can be get can get a lot colder not negative but mm. you know five degrees lowest so yeah that's it for weather all right let's talk about one of the most biggest reasons why we're staying here in the Philippines it's because people yeah people yeah so let's talk about the positive so I think people here are really nice um, I think we'll just give you a few examples why we think oh cat peeking out the bush oh no no oh, eyes no, no eyes this cat oh it's under our tripod is it gonna hit our camera okay anyway we're just gonna keep talking um, oh wait 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 uh, we're, we're so worried because the cat is like sniffing our tripod <laughs> it's gonna hit uh, anyway let's uh, talk until it hits uh, so people here we think we're really nice so one example is that at the airport when we had no sim card we first arrived here in the Philippines um, we saw that I think we didn't even ask we just looked very confused at the airport we were just looking around and people actively come up to us and just ask do yeah, you need every, any help? Every, everyone tried to help us here Yeah, and it's so nice from them and even we any places even like uh, even they cannot help us even they don't have like load on on fold it anyway try to help us to call if we if we need it mm, like yeah. everywhere outside like if we don't know where we need to go we can come to any people and they always for uh, always help us mm, yeah so, so true i love this about philippines i really love people here yeah so so kind uh always have a kind heart and yeah, like Dalina said at the airport, there's this guy at Jolly at Jolly B. I think he was just sitting there, mm -hmm. and I just walk up to him out of curiosity. I was like, "Oh, can any chance can I borrow your phone?" Normally, if someone borrow, like ask for ask me to lend their phone to them, I would be like, uh, "Okay, a bit hesitant." But this guy didn't even think. He just passed me his phone and he said, "Oh, wait, let me like top up my load, and you can call." <laughs> I was like, "Whoa!" Yeah. Out of his own pocket, he gave me um, to use his phone. For yeah, because call. really, when we come first time, we don't have like phone call, we don't have nothing no internet we don't know how to go to our hotel so we sit all night in the airport and just wait in the morning to go to our hotel yeah it's crazy yeah that was so chaotic that was our first night in the philippines mm. but 
luckily there's so many good people so yeah. it makes our night easier to yeah, go by more safety exactly all right secondly uh Oh yeah, so any places that we go, if we as tourists, um, I think people have like really, really friendly to us. Um, for example, if we're on the road, um, for example, when we go into a specific destination, when we're in Divisoria, we try to ask for, like look at directions, they just help us right away. They say, oh, this way, this way, this way, this way, and just very kind gesture in general. Um, okay, now positive, of course. Oh, and also so kind culture. And uh, every time when we post our video, everyone like so support us in the comments. Sure. I really love it. Like yeah. I never saw in another country they do like this. Yeah, true. even like Russian Russian bloggers, they like every time like hate, 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 hate <laughs> comments. But here people so supportive. Yeah, I agree. Um, Philippines is one of the most like supportive country when it comes to YouTube, and I feel like there's a huge community of like YouTube viewers here in the yeah. Philippines always supporting YouTube bloggers so we're really grateful for that so thank you so much for the support um, but on the positive side there's also a negative side um, so I think because we are tourists ultimately I guess we don't speak uh, the language like Tagalog or like other, other Philippine language sometimes people do take advantage of mm. that in some cases um, so we're gonna talk about a few cases uh, so start with Joyride maybe uh, yeah, one time we had like this experience. So we went to uh, um, Brixton place mm, and for apartment viewing. Yeah, apartment viewing, and we tried to get like a, any scooter from there to PGC, but we cannot find so long time. And I remember like Justin find only one scooter for me, mm. and I take this scooter, and this is guy like yeah yeah everything it's okay, but he bring me to another local place, mm. stop there. And Demand like and me. and ask me like oh like I tell him like why where we are it's not my place I I need go to PGC he's like oh I don't know I don't know if you wanna go to PGC you need pay me double price and I'm like um, I, I'm so I'm so confused like I'm asking him like maybe it's not my driver I don't know what's happened and I ask him to show me this map but he said oh no I'm already like can I'm already close already close so I really don't understand what's happened the time and um, I'm just um, I think what what the worst part was Alina didn't have internet on oh, that yeah, day right. so she didn't actually know where she was I cannot call Justin I cannot call to someone I don't know what to do and I even cannot check like this my driver or not yeah exactly because it was on my phone that yeah. I called for her I was so stressed and I started crying and after the like uh, some nice people they help me they bring me with like a uh, they take tricycle because they don't have like scooter don't, don't have Anka's draw right they bring me to police mm. and police help me police at least really like some guy he just take me with scooter and bring me to BGC and even he's like oh like no need I don't need payment just for free for free but anyway I give him like a like a payment because anyway he's mm. so kind to me and yeah. I'm, I'm so stressed I'm so like uh, my face is like this because I'm crying you can understand how stressful we were when like this happened because yeah, yeah just just very high especially as a like as a girl and with no internet you don't know where you are we're just lucky that nothing bad like really bad happens to Alina so that's one story um, second story uh, let's talk about oh, delivery DHL so I had an international <laughs> uh, package like actually sent to us to our building uh, this new apartment yeah a few, few days ago it yeah. actually was yeah just a few days ago and it was an international package with a work company that I work for and obviously right away I know DHL because usually the company paid for my uh, like payment already but then for some reason when I go downstairs I collect the package and this guy say oh this is 500 pesos and I say no this is free like zero and then and then he 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 keep like challenging so like no this is need to pay and I say like no check the records and he was like oh, 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 oh and I just walk away so yeah, yeah. it's so, so strange there are, yeah there are many like ways he, he sent after a message like you need you need to pay yeah it's so strange really strange because i think normally we had a lot of shoppy deliveries and that's why like when i answered the call i guess one thing i gave it out was like i don't know the price so i said because it's zero it, i shouldn't be paying anything but normally for shoppy i'll just ask how much and i'll bring it down for yeah. cash so i just ask how much and then and then he, i think he randomly says some number and when i go down he said 500 uh -huh. so he tried to scam me um, so yeah, that's another story. Sometimes people can get quite uh, dishonest, even though I know like Philippines in general, many people are very like honest yeah, and very not kind. Not many like accident, ex accident. Ex yeah, I would say it does happen sometime. Um, ha unfortunately, happened to us like quite a few times, but yeah, yeah it does happen sometimes. 
Um, it's okay. Just need be ready for this situation. Maybe we need learn Tagalog. Maybe the, after this, when they know, like, oh, we can speak Tagalog, so they won't scam us. Exactly. <laughs> we sound like more like a local. But yeah, there are not many around. But yeah, definitely be careful if uh, no, you're watching this. Oh, block. and also sometimes, like when we come to another city, airport or somewhere, mm. like a uh, uh, tricycle people, they try to get yeah, like the, the more money they want, like the, exactly. the more they can. Yeah, just um, even like some of our other subscribers, they tell us even from their other from other city, they come to this new city because they don't speak the same language. They might take advantage of. Uh, yeah. yeah, so do some research before you do go on a trip so you know exactly roughly how much you need to pay for your trip. Um, okay, another thing, visa extension. So I think this you would know more about me, but I know right now, currently we're extending it for six months here in Manila and after that we try to extend for another six months. Yeah, so, okay, so for foreigners in Philippines, it's kind of amazing extension visa. It's not all, all the country do like this, mm. but here you can come first for 30 days, mm for free oh, yeah. and um, I'm a Russian it's so like <laughs> every country that I, I need visa but Philippines she gets in every country yeah. <laughs> I love Philippines so first 30 days we stay for free mm. after we go to immigration and extend our visa for one month mm. and after this we come to and we can extend for two months or for four months or for six months so for six months we can extend only in Manila in a like, big immigration so we come to Manila and extend here it's around 27,000 pesos for to people and six months we no need go to immigration no need extend again no need think about this and we can live just here and also we can live here for three years yeah it's crazy and don't go to another country so we can three years extend our visa six months six months six months six months again and again mm. until we do a visa run and apparently when you come back you can do something similar again yeah again after again you can stay three mm. three years and three years I know many people they do like this yeah they live live here so like 20 years and they mm. never get like a long-term visa mm. or like mm, exactly. passport. and I think like I don't know the government here is very welcoming when it comes to tourists set up many facilities so everything is like easily understandable everything is in English they are not in Filipino language so everyone like come here they understand what's going on so yeah in general very welcoming like tourist welcoming yeah. country so we really like it here yeah and immigration when we come it's like so easy no it's yeah like, so easy so easy like yeah it's okay yep stamp, stamp. Yeah, you can leave no pay go <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so that's it for visa <laughs> extend a uh, visa in the philippines a very easy process so move on to the next one which is a big topic prices so let's start with um, like all the essentials first transportation let's start with transportation uh, Bibi, cheap do you want to sit somewhere because honey Oh, sun is coming out. Um, let's change location. Okay, let's change the location. Okay, let's talk about prices. So, one of the biggest topics here in the Philippines to mention is, of course, the Filipino prices here. So, let's talk about transportation first. Transportation price is so cool. It's like a local transportation. If you want to take a train, subway, a bus, or jeepney, it's so cheap, like mm. crazy cheap. Sometimes even free, actually. Yeah, yeah. even like ferry, it's free. Yep. Um, scooter, taxi, and the tricycle uh, it's it's kind of depends yeah, uh, it depends it's more but anyway compared to another country it's so cool price yeah I think it's uh yeah transportation here is relatively more affordable Def definitely um, depending on your needs you need to pay different prices so Selena said local prices like local transportation tend to be like a little bit more affordable um, but if you say like you want to transport more comfortably like with aircon with like real, just like good services quick services then motorbikes and also car like grab so comfy so fast so easy yeah. and uh yeah but a little bit more expensive but it's okay still affordable all right next food food i think for me i'll start first so food there's cheap and expensive options cheap you can eat like lots of i don't know like street delicacies local food even like um what else is cheap food here uh, I think if we go to night market, oh, night markets. yeah, everything is so cheap there. Yeah, so affordable. Uh, so and food is delicious food. still. Mm, fast food, manginaso, chokin, mm. jollibee, it's so cheap. Yeah. Um, if we go to more like a high class restaurants mm. like Manam, it's anyway price amazing. Yeah. For example, you can buy like Sinigang 250 peso. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's so good price. Yeah, so so Filipino food, it's price here amazing and it's so tasty food. Yeah, so tasty and it's affordable as well. But on the other side, if we talk about international food, it could get a bit like more pricey. But I think, wow, cats! Yeah, this is the cat that was uh 
hitting our tripod just now, but uh, cool cat. Anyway, he likes to sniff our back. So international food, sometimes it could get quite um, like expensive, depending what kind of food you want, like how how premium you want yeah. your food to be. So if you want high-end Japanese restaurant, of course, it's going to charge more. But I think otherwise, food here is still quite affordable. Well, everyone, every budget here have food. If you want to exactly. li live cheap life, then you can eat many, many food and mm. you won't be hungry. Exactly. If you want to eat luxury food, like mm. uh, premium steaks, then you can eat here too. Yeah. Like so have many, many options. Depending on your budget, really. Yeah. And even like, I know like 7-Elevens or convenience stores here, they sell <laughs> hot food as well. So you, if you want to like save money, definitely you can do that here. When you're backpacking, Philippines is a good country to backpack too. But, so, um, but for us, we usually spend if we go to outside we usually spend around 1000 for two people to eat some like a uh, good amazing meal yep yeah so, so 1000 is around like normal price for two people if you live in pgc yeah, mm, yeah pgc yeah 1000 it's like relatively the price yeah it's so good it's like in in russia it's same mm, is it same yeah around same yeah. when you dine out mm -hmm. mm. well australia even, it's even more maybe <laughs> australia okay. it's gonna be double triple of that <laughs> so uh yeah it cannot uh, eat uh, food like this like luxurious here uh, in Australia I oh. mean alright so next uh, ah, the fly is coming out alright next visa oh we talked about visa already so next hotels and hostels like hotels yeah accommodation so when it comes to oh you come so close ah, again sorry sorry sorry, sorry. <laughs> so when it comes to hotels uh, it really depends on the area so our first impression I remember when I booked the hotel stays here in the Philippines when we first came to the Philippines it's quite a quite a nightmare actually first hotel yeah because we were trying to find like in compared to other Southeast Asia, Asian countries like for example like Bali or Thailand there are definitely more affordable options out there with like higher higher quality like kind of rooms I think for us first of all we tried to look for look for hotels in big areas but we couldn't really find ones that are suitable for our budget so we end I up remember uh, when we just come to Philippines, we don't know wh which which area is good for us. So we choose Makati, yeah. but we don't know have like a modern Makati and have like a more old style in local Makati. Yeah, right. So we rent apartment in the local part of Makati. Uh, yeah, and it's so 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 small room. It's mm. around two thousand peso one night, and we even cannot like walk in the room. It's like yeah. so. Um, it's really it's just, small. Just, it's just a bed. Yeah, mm. so it, it was confused, but now I think we know more about apartment and accommodation here. And yeah, mm. now we know what we need to rent, especially in PGC. Like <laughs> even in PGC, if you want to rent a cheap budget uh, hotel or hostel, mm. you have like a little bit uh, different area. It's like my town. Yeah, oh, no, it's no, not my town. Uh, another one. My, it's still called my town. No, no. New York. My stay. My stay. Oh, my stay. same company, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, my town, my stay. They're a little bit outside of BGC. Uh, if you want to look for like accommodation like near BGC that's relatively affordable, <laughs> I would recommend staying there. It's in a rather local area, but it's close to BGC. Yeah, and it's good and big uh, room for yeah. one thousand one day. Yeah. Um. I guess again depends what kind of room you got. I think the first time we stayed at was relatively small. No, we stay in my, my town. My town was... But really my stay is always yep. good and big rooms. Yeah, my stay was really good. So, so. yeah, we recommend my stay if you want to stay budget in a nearby Yeah, nearby BGC. BGC. Yeah. Um, yeah, and when we booked for hotels and accommodations in general, a big part of that uh, cost was there is hidden fees like for example hidden like tax and like mm. hidden other fees in bookings.com or whatever i didn't see in another country like this yeah it's just in the philippines we noticed so yeah that for example if they say 25 australian dollars or some whatever currency you're having just need to be careful when you book when you pay you need to look at the price again because it might change there yeah but also we're talking only about manila because i'm guess in another island uh, you can find the so cheap accommodation for living it's mm. like more cheaper and more than affordable in, yeah. options definitely in, in manila yep yeah exactly so next which brings us to the alternatives of hotel which is airbnbs so Airbnbs, we have had like a couple experience, I guess. The biggest one is the one we stayed in Cebu for one month. So we are very lucky. Yeah, we pay around eight hundred dollars. Mm. Eight hundred dollars for one apartment, like Australian a, dollars or dollars. Uh, Australian dollars. Australian dollars, yeah. yeah. Uh, five hundred dollars. Yeah, five hundred dollars. Yeah, it's like a uh, one room and another room with kitchen and sofa. Mm. 
it's a kind of old apartment but anyway it's like better than we see another in Airbnb yeah so Airbnb price is kind of big because you rent only for one or two few months mm. if you want a cheap apartment then you need rent in carousel and yep. um, but you need rent for 12 months yeah like more affordable options would definitely be carousel or marketplace where you really look for apartment to stay here for long term like six months or even like 12 which is what we did we say in BGC now we rented here for one year and yeah prices would be more reasonable on a per day basis yeah and also now our apartment like we rent for 32k in one month so it's around like one one thousand one day mm. so if you want to rent for one thousand one day just like for one week yeah. you never find like this yeah, apartment. In airbnbs yeah yeah soon we will show soon we will show yeah soon, soon we will show the room tour once all our furniture arrives so stay tuned i know you guys keep asking in the comments when's the room to when's the room tour? but it's coming up promise yeah. you guys all right next so next will be about traveling so why philippines why travel in the philippines many of you might ask why philippines because the first thing when we come to the philippines we search what to do in the philippines obviously come with many suggestions and we saw that there are many many beautiful destinations many different islands and and we already swim with shark exactly well, so many shark. activities yeah. like the clearest the bluest water we've ever seen in our lives like Maldives in Southeast Asia yeah. so it's really crazy and there are 7,640 islands here in the Philippines and more and we still still was only like and we've been to three three, three <laughs> islands <laughs> yeah three big <laughs> islands so yeah, yeah. Uh, four Somalan islands too yeah so we're gonna go, go to soon um, Boracay yeah Boracay that would be a dream come true because Boracay is one of the most popular tourist attractions mm. that everyone talks about about like the white sand beaches the blue water so we definitely go up so excited to see this yeah amazing and i believe it's gonna be a fun episode because alina's birthday is gonna come up and also my family from hong kong and australia my most specifically my dad and my brother is gonna come and we're gonna celebrate birthday yeah. her birthday together <laughs> so. my first time when i meet justin Vernon. <laughs> yeah and her birthday so uh yeah, yeah. i can't wait really really mm. excited me too so um Apart from that, um, another thing we talk about is because there's so many islands, so many different cities, flight tickets around like between the Philippines is also quite affordable, we would say. Um, you can buy really cheap tickets just to, for example, go to Cebu, to Bajo, or Cebu, to Manila, like yeah, all these it's destinations. So, it's so easy and so comfortable to travel in country. If you want to go to from like Manila to a different places, you just pay around 2,000 or 3,000 peso for one trip. And I think it's uh, pretty cool. Or mm. you can take a ferry. Um, have two types of ferry. Yeah. Uh, we already already know. Uh, first time when we go to from Cebu to Bohol. We no, take Bohol. Oh, ah, yes, yeah, Cebu to Bohol. From Cebu to Bohol, we take ferry two hours. It's like a fast ferry, and we just sit there and we go so fast, so it's yeah. so good. But when we go back, we don't have. Um, I don't know why we don't take like two hours we try to uh, and we take for four hours yep. ferry it's like long time ferry and we realize we can lie down there they have a bed they have conditions that's you better <laughs> they have it's like a hotel you, yeah. can, you can just lie down and, and and just swim so comfy exactly and they have like a uh, like so 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 budget uh, it's when don't have condition you just lie down and it's like windy everywhere yep. so that's a standard class and then there's also the tourist class we, yeah, we tourist bought class, it's like a, another room yep. with many many beds inside and condition and even they give you bed sheet yeah if you give them an ID card you give you bed sheets with aircon as well so it's amazing. really amazing service from now I, I travel like this <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'd rather like spend more time than yeah it's more comfy actually yeah. I would say and in this is big room I also mm. have like more um, another class more high class when you have your own private room yeah it's uh yeah there is even more premium options but if you I want think even like we take like a so so budget uh, it's like 200 it was yeah really affordable yeah, price i remember anyway it's so good it's better yep. than two hours like so fast uh yeah and you get dizzy sometimes seasick because you do mm -hmm. yeah so I, I would recommend actually if you um traveling from i don't know if it's every ferry but if you're traveling from uh Bajo to Cebu, i would definitely recommend like taking the long ferry it's uh more comfortable i would say yeah all right next um oh this is an interesting topic so we talk about security and like just like safety of police uh, here in the philippines so i'll start first maybe yep 
So we noticed when we first came to the Philippines, we noticed there are many, many police patrolling and many security guards. Every time we walk in a shopping mall, there are security guards checking your bags, holding like a massive shotgun. So <laughs> in a way, it's quite intimidating. So the question is, is it safe here in the Philippines? So For I me, think... In Russia, I never saw like someone use guns because I think in Russia, it's uh, like you, you, cannot, you cannot have guns. Mm, right. Yeah. It's illegal it's, to have guns. Yeah, it's illegal. Yep. Yeah, same for Hong Kong and Australia. I've never like seen like security guard holding like a massive shotgun like this, um, unless it's like really police, police. Yeah, but here every uh, shopping mall they check uh, like your bag, and I feel I feel safety. I mm. feel like like no one like we bomb or something like this don't come. Yeah, to no inside. terrorists. No terrorists. Uh, yeah, that's something I agree. Like when I go to shopping mall, I feel safe because I know people check the bags. Like whether yeah. There is precaution, um, so yeah, it's more safety inside. And also, security here is so kind. They always open for your door. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, like uh, hello, mom. <laughs> it makes you feel premium, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, so so yeah. good. True. Makes me feel I wanna hug them. Oh, <laughs> like oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, like thank you, uncle. Thank yeah. you. Like <laughs> so yeah, so I agree. Kind. Yeah, and um, but however, like I think my impression was I was. I guess because coming from Hong Kong, I'm not sure you've heard of this uh, news before. Uh, I think back in 2010, there was a Manila, like Hong Kong hostage situation where there is this, uh, I think like rogue police just went onto like a tourist bus and basically put every Hong Kong passenger under hostage situation. Mm -hmm. So it's just a police who I think he was um, angry at his job from what I was reading mm -hmm. before. Um, so yeah, that situation really put a big news to everyone in Hong Kong to stay alert when it comes to like traveling to Manila because it could be unsafe but I think this time when it comes to the Philippines I feel really safe because I don't see anything happens and everyone's so kind to me and we see a lot more security these days but I still have this like the precaution story, the story is so crazy when Justin and first time tell me this story I'm like I'm, I'm shocked I, I didn't know like people can do like this yeah. yeah so and I even like first time when we come to Philippines I didn't see people like use guns mm. <laughs> until Justin told me this exactly I don't know when I saw police on the street for the first time I just suddenly remind me of that like news oh. so whenever I see police holding a sh big shotgun it makes me a little bit nervous in some ways because like like even though I know most police like you know they are very understandable like they they don't do anything crazy but I just have this like story in my I mind think, keeps I think playing. It, it depends of mind of people. If some person like have something like problem, uh, like exactly, in, yeah. in Russia too many story when like uh, some guy he have mm. problem in his mind and he just come to like school and kill yeah. everyone. So yeah, many and, um, and no one don't understand what's happened. Psychology, many school yeah. shooting like in America, same story. You don't know what's thinking behind a person. So yeah, but cannot we, judge everyone, but most people we saw. We didn't see some like this kind of story in Philippines. So mm, I guess yeah, I don't think so. Maybe it's just a yeah. one time thing. So yeah and I actually watched another video uh, it's uh, I think by this YouTube channel called Asian Boss they were asking around Filipinos whether they think it's safe mm -hmm. uh, in the Philippines because they see so many people holding guns as mm -hmm. well so, on street he asked yeah, on street, street interview wow. yeah so I think it's a video that like yeah you can check it out if you have time but uh, it's quite an interesting topic about gun laws in the Philippines because apparently from some of the interviewees uh, they said guns are like relatively easier to get here and many mm -hmm. people have guns here in the mm -hmm. Philippines so wow. yeah I think uh, yeah I think it's a web topic that worth talking about you wanna have your own gun I'm good I think <laughs> toy gun is okay but uh, water gun is also okay but uh, I think real gun no thanks uh, yeah alright next uh, this is gonna be a quite interesting topic as well it's internet internet oh internet in <laughs> Philippines it's my favorite topic <laughs> yeah uh, so first of all, what we want to talk about it's um, yeah, it's a signal. Some places we need to use five G. Some places five G don't work, and we need change for LTE and like four G means four yeah. G. Yeah, mm. every place we need switch off our internet. Mm. Yeah. Also, here I have only Smart Globe like two big companies of internet there are small ones but not as big as these two yeah and they price a little bit same but it's crazy price for me because like compared to russia here it's you need pay also here don't have unlimited internet or yeah. if have it's 2500 for one month unlimited i think there is no phone. there's no unlimited at all 
really? no unlimited for mobiles mobiles i saw for mobiles unlimited really? 2500 one month but you need to make contracts for 12 months i think it's unlimited calls and texts really? only uh-huh. yeah i don't think there are any unlimited options i think they removed it before mm. have but then philippines decided those two companies decided to remove it mm. because you know they are the top 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 internet only providers in the philippines pretty much so they can do, raise up the price if they want um, yeah, so something we notice is mobile plans, no unlimited, and prices are quite crazy. Even compared to Australia, it's like almost the same price as Australia, which is really? pretty crazy. In Russia, oh, it's sorry. around uh, 500 for one month, unlimited internet and unlimited calls mm, yeah. for phone internet. And like even Thailand, like 200 bahts, 200 bahts, uh, which is around... 400, 400 pesos. 400 pesos, you can get uh, unlimited internet for one month, 30 days, and unlimited calls and everything. So yeah. I think this... I don't know what's happened here in, in, with internet. Yeah, <laughs> I think this is something that's relatively uh, a little bit frustrating for like foreigners when they first yeah. came here. But we want to talk about home internet. Mm. We, a uh, few, few, like one month ago, we make Globe internet mm. around, it's around 2,500 one month we pay, mm. and, or 2,000. Two thousand. Yeah, we pay two two thousand, and it's three hundred megabit. Yeah, and it's so fast, so good internet. So yeah. about home internet, I'm I I wanna tell like it's so cool. Yeah, but um, I want a mobile. About mobile, it's um. Yeah. Um, for me, it's not enough if you use only mobile phone and it's a little bit like price up. Mm-hmm. And, you know, these days everyone uses like social media when they're on the street. So and also here don't have Wi-Fi. The most like uh, uh, yeah. many cafes they don't have Wi-Fi, like free Wi-Fi. So yeah, because especially for us, we try to work in cafe or at home, and we need really good Wi-Fi. So we always try to find like a cafe when we can drink coffee, mm. but. I don't know. If you know, guys, let us know some good cafe where we can drink and work. Especially in BGC. If you guys have any and recommendations, that'd be awesome. With plugs. <laughs> yeah, with plugs. Uh, we need like plugs. We need free Wi-Fi and good coffee as well. So if you guys know we, any we around want BGC, a lot. <laughs> yeah, we're asking about a lot. No, yeah. I think it's like I don't know. If it's in another country, another you can country, find yeah, many like you this. You can come to any cafe and they have yeah, Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi. Every, every cafe have free yeah. Wi-Fi. And here sometimes even have Wi-Fi. It's limited. They'll be like, oh, yeah. you can only stay for two hours and you I need think, to leave. I think it's because electricity in the Philippines is like mm. price more high. So that's you think why so? maybe they try to save. And also because limited internet plan, I think they have. Mm. Yeah. So which brings us to the next topic, which is electricity bills here in the Philippines. So <laughs> we still don't know because we live one month in PGC and we yep. try to save this month's icon because after this video when guy talking about after living uh, one month. Yeah, true. There is this YouTube vlogger. I, I think you guys know his name. It's a uh, Merge Mergum vlog. Um, his vlog basically what we watch this BGC video about things that you should know before getting an apartment here. One video he talked about how he's paying seventeen thousand uh electricity pesos for electricity because he had a non-inverter aircon yeah one month and he used only icon he don't use like another things not cooking at home no he he said he didn't even use that much aircon oh. but still get paid so much yeah, yeah. so so we worried that's why this month when we just uh, rent our apartment because our icon is also not inverter yeah so we wait yeah we wait our bill and it, we're so nervous we really try to save as much as we can even though when we look for apartments we try to look for uh like inverters option but we just couldn't find like like a good apartment with like reasonable price with yeah. everything that we need but this one has everything we need but it's just not inverter yeah and we think it's if it's priced like crazy then we buy some like a like a fan yeah. exactly and also because there's a new apartment it's like a brand new apartment so we would assume that it's like new air conditioning Hopefully it's energy saving because the rating is 11, 11.3. Mm-hmm. So uh, <laughs> yeah, let's hope uh, because actually today we'll get our just the bill. So we'll put the price here. Uh, so well, you know, we will m- uh, edit this video. We already know. Yeah, we we'll already know the price, and we'll let you guys know. So our uh, fingers crossed because we really haven't been using a lot of aircon electricity this month. We really try to save. So hopefully it's not crazy high. But I know, I know, it's uh, more than another country. For example, in Russia, for one month for three rooms apartment, we pay around two thousand peso uh, about electricity and water. But we don't use icon because in Russia it's so cold. Mm. But here, my friend, she told me they have like three rooms. Apartment apartment a uh, they they use icon only at night so they pay 10,000 peso one month so yeah. it's it's quite a bit yeah of similar size of our apartment which is like make us even more worried yeah 
but uh, yeah, that's about it for electricity. Um, and next, we'll be talking about yeah, basically where we are right now, like um, parks in general, just parks. Mm. Um, one thing we noticed is that we believe here in Manila, we think that there is not enough parks. Um, yeah, we right. we find only one park in uh, PGC. I mean, when I talk about park, I mean it's like a park like with tree, with green, like everything. Uh, when don't have cars, like mm. so quiet and nature. So yeah. we find only one. It's like it's even not park. It's like just like a, a walking trail. Yeah, for, yeah, for, for jogging, for running, for walking, yeah, for exactly. Running. Yeah, uh, it's. Uh, and even like someone recommend us to ah my friend recommend us to see this place even we don't know like no one don't it's like a hype from everyone <laughs> this is road it's like a secret road oh yeah exactly uh we didn't know until someone told us that there is yeah. a actually walking trail here because all we could walk around pgc even though there are many like green like greenery so you can tree trees and grass and like big lawns but not park because it's still uh, in between like residential areas it's not a big area when we try to find parks we find only um, golf golf yeah. uh, territory golf codes uh, cemeteries cemetery. memorials yeah. which to some extent those lands are used for other purposes but not so for we cannot walk inside yeah exactly yeah. we can walk in bgc like a square this mm. but it's not like a lot of nature yeah shopping yeah. malls there are lots but yeah ultimately we want some greenery yeah, somewhere that's why soon we want to go to ritzel park yeah uh, i know this is like uh, the good and big park and many green tree yeah exactly so, so uh let's see and i think ritzel park apparently there are lots of like different facilities and there are lots of museums around as well so it's going to be one of our future episodes so subscribe now if you haven't already and stay tuned to our for, to our ritzel park video because we're really excited to go to the um the biggest park here in manila mm. and um yeah i think that's it for this video so we covered all the topics from transportation all the way to like you know parks here in the philippines so yeah. this is our opinion about um, Philippines yeah. in our three months exactly and also we will stay here one year so after one year we again uh, talking about everything and let's see how it's how how, exactly. how many things change maybe six us. months six months six months we make another video yeah okay yeah six months we make another video and uh, yeah maybe things have changed and we'll update with the electricity bill as well to so see how it's going still, now we still don't know many things but we already feel how this life in Philippines like if you for long term exactly um yeah very cozy cozy especially we've got a re yeah. relatively good apartment we, we really so love live here living here it's in a amazing amazing country and uh, for us now like when we not, don't earn a lot of money mm. for us this is country it's the best uh, yeah for staying yeah. together when have hot weather because for me especially <laughs> if like uh, in russia so 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 cold i don't like cold and <laughs> i love hot country so uh, for me summer it's always so nice mm. and i think the best part is just philippines so big and there's so many places we can yeah. go during holidays if we want to travel we can go to another places mm. another islands yeah romantic exactly. islands romantic dates many <laughs> ideas here so yeah i think that's it for this video and uh yeah as you guys saw like we're giving out the mask eye mask so if you guys want to enter the lucky draw make sure to fulfill all the conditions that we mentioned earlier in the ad so uh and we love to give you guys this is our prison mm. like, yeah it's, like a prison. it's really good mask we really sleep with this mm. we love it yeah really thankful for all the continuous support you guys have given us so we want to give back a little bit yeah. to you guys but anyway guys thanks for watching this episode if you enjoyed this episode make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe to our channel and uh yeah stay tuned for our future vlog it's gonna be quite interesting bye all right bye. see ya bye